Hey everybody, welcome to Bogey's to Birdies Golf Vlog. I'm Mike and I'll be doing a winter review of Keith Hills Golf Club in Bowie's Creek, North Carolina. This course is the home course for Campbell University's PGA program. It also has three nine hole courses, so it makes it for a fun rotation. As far as price goes, it's usually between $40 to $60 during peak season, and you can traditionally find a $20 hot deal on golf now. They have a great range, only $5 for a large bucket of balls. They have about five or six greens out on the range that they're maintained greens that you can actually hit at. They also have a great uh, pitching and chipping area with sand trap. They have two large putting greens. They're never too busy that you can't find somewhere to putt, so that is great. First hole we're going down guys is number eight on the white course. Not a long hole, but it does force you to drive it accurately down the left side. If you end up down the right side, you have some trees to play with. The green is big, 100 feet deep, 80 feet wide, with a, with a good shot off the tee box. You guys can probably land yourself with a par. I usually leave myself with a tap in bogey on this hole. going backwards two holes is number six on the white course again not a terribly long hole it just forces you to be accurate off the off the tee if you end up left of the 150 marker you have a tree that plays in your line of sight if you end up right too far right you have a sand trap so it kind of forces you to aim at the sand trap if you want to play it short or you have to try to carry it with about a 255 260 yard tee shot to the smallest part of the fairway the green Probably, probably the most challenging green on the course. It's a bigger green and it flows from the back all the way down to the front. Uh, right now the front pin placement, that's a great spot to have it. When it's in the back it can be very challenging. The last hole on the white course to show you is hole number nine. It's the par five. Again, the, the white course is shorter so this is only 500 yards from the back tees, 466 from the white. So not a long par five, but it does come with a lot of challenges around the green. You can usually get there in two, you can. If I try to get there in two, I usually catch that little lip of water uh, that you see right at the bottom left of the green. Getting to the orange course, Hole number one on the orange course is again, another stellar looking hole off the tee box. You have an elevated tee box down to a nice fairway uh, with the trees that kind of line the fairway and make it a good opening. Not a long one again, 200, 210 yards will get you to a very uh, nine iron or pitching wedge in to the green. Now the green does have a lot of sand uh, around it. And on the orange course, the rough is nothing to play with. If you go long on a lot of these greens, you're gonna have a very hard time getting up and down. Hole number nine on the orange course to me is the hardest hole. It's only the number three handicap. It just forces you to lay up and then you still have a very long approach in with a protected hole with a big sand trap on the front right. Check the details for more information about Keith Hills, and I'll see you on the next Porsche review.